I'm Nir Paldi. I'm co-artistic director of Theater Ad Infinitum, and this is... Vicky Aray. I'm an actor, theater maker. About a year ago, Vicky, you came to me and uh, brought me an idea uh, to, for a new play about um, a woman that is born an orphan and is uh, at the very bottom of the bottom, bottom of the social class um, system. When I was growing up, I've never experienced something like, like what we are living now in Mexico. Neither my parents or my, my grandparents. This is something that it's, it's deteriorating. It's, there's something rotten. We are using the, the terrible situation in Mexico and this extreme situation in Mexico uh, in order to find a way of reflecting on the this quite extreme capitalist system that uh, we are living globally. The value of money and the way in which institutions and governments and even the education nowadays looks into money and what money represents in life, it just has, it just has twisted the, the lives of people, the souls, the, the purpose of, I guess, of living of what's important of what is really important we are, we are really using this uh, character this um, poor little girl that has no family um, as a, a like a, a microcosmos study case mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, within the bigger uh, the macrocosmos of Mexico and the bigger macrocosmos of um, yes. of the whole globe um, to and show how actually the actions of these very <clears throat> rich people that are in these uh, very privileged small groups, small families, and the decisions that they make, they really go all the way down to the lives, and, and they affect the lives of the, of the average citizen in many countries. And this was such an interesting process, wouldn't you say? I mean, yes. we're working yes. with a group, like I'm the only man in the room, really. We have um, myself and eight women and um, this beautiful ensemble, and I think... There is something very feminine <laughs> yes. yeah, in, yeah, in, yeah. The, in, the, in the work um, and the quality of what we are coming up with. It's, quite, it's extremely emotional, no? It is, it is, and it, it is also because I guess that <clears throat> it's not only terrible to be a poor uh, human being, <laughs> uh, being born in a really uh, dirty place, insecure, full of crime and impunity, but then if you're also a woman, and what it represents, and what we, I think, a lot of people know uh, about all these women being killed in the border, and how the impunity of uh, feminicides in, in Mexico is just outrageous. That we are examining quite closely, um, or at least trying to at that stage, um, is the relationship between the United States and Mexico, and how intermingled, and how, um, yeah, kind of, um, yeah, mixed up the whole thing is. Yeah, and it's how a very weird relationship. It's a love and hate relationship. Like the stories that are being told, how are they being told? Mm -hmm. And the whole concept of soft power. So Hollywood and um, the narrative that it's feeding us um, about the United States and about the world as a whole and how it plays a part um, in sustaining the system as who it is. Who consumes the products and who produces the products. Yeah, and, who, and who gets the profit. Of course, there, yeah. that's of course. You know, when a, you hear about 13-year-old girls and boys starting their working life, working six, seven days a week, 15-hour shifts, so we can buy those clothes, so we can buy those cars, so we can buy those TVs, so we can purchase this food, so, you know, all those things. And I think we are trying to explore all this through, through the, this character of ours that is actually somehow trying to struggle, trying to struggle out of this. Why she is, why she becomes this human being, this woman that is full of rage, mm. really, and all that she wants is revenge. Yeah, and I think at this stage, what we really want is just to present what we came up with after <coughs> these five weeks and receive feedback. Um, well, as a company, we really love uh, showing our work to audiences and get them involved, get them on board so we can see the reaction, we can know where we are at with the making and really integrate the feedback into the next stages of the development. And I think that's where we are at now.